which reflect the honor and tradition and history of the people of faith. These spaces also allow God to grow in the hearts and minds of people so that their spirituality and their understanding and their knowledge of faith increases. With gratitude for this building, the Graves Pavilion, and for Sarah and all those who have given memorial donations, we have been allowed to create the Reverend Jack Tolley Memorial Library of St. John's Episcopal Church. And we now gather to dedicate it in God's name. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for making us in your image to share in the mission of your church in the world. Receive the works of our hands in this place, now to be set apart for the reading of your word, increasing our knowledge of you and of your son, learning of our tradition through those who have gone before us, and building up of the living and the remembrance of the dead to the praise and the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let the doors be open. Peace be to this building and library and all who enter it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. I invite you all to please come into the library. There Here we go. go. <laughs> <laughs> one, one. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Your word is a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-loving God, watchful and caring, all that we have and all that we are is yours. Accept us now as we dedicate this place to which we have come for your honor and glory. Here we read about the mighty acts and the purposes in history and about those who have gone before us as agents of your will. Inspired by the revelation of your Son, we seek your presence and your purpose in our lives. Give us eyes to see, ears to hear, and hearts to obey. Be present always and guide us, and illumine us and bless us as your people. Lord Jesus Christ, may your presence be found in this place of prayer, study, and learning. Be always near us as we seek you in this place. Draw us to you when we are alone or when we come with others. May we find comfort and wisdom and be supported and strengthened in order that we may continue your mission on earth. 
May it be here, Lord Jesus Christ, that we are made one with you and with one another, so that our lives may sustain and be sanctified to your service. Holy Spirit, fill us with your peace, that we may grow closer to you through joy and suffering. Be with us in the fullness of your love as we grow in our knowledge and understanding. Deepen our faith and commitment and guide us with truth that we may be faithful servants. Now, O oh Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, sanctify this place, for everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O oh Lord, is the kingdom, and you are exalted as head over all. O oh God, in every age, you have spoken through the voice of prophets, saints, pastors, and teachers. Purify the lives and minds of those who read in this place and in others, that through your word, the word printed on pages, your word may be heard and followed. For your word is a lantern to our feet and a light to our path. And we dedicate this library in the memory of Reverend Jack Tolley, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sarah. This is a beautiful story. I think Jack would have loved it also. This, I think it reflects the love in his heart. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Please join us in a reception across the courtyard um, in Nail. Thank you. It was very nice to get to see you again. He would have loved it. Oh, he's loving it. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah.